the road less traveled. <laughs> it's a bit overgrown. God, got my dry bag bashing around with my wet weather gear or wet weather gear, my bathers and stuff in there. But anyway, look at this. Like the the yeah, the ruts itself, there's not anything growing, but that stuff in the middle, coming up here, there's basically like a small sapling in the middle. Look at that. Far out. I, uh, I've got, I got nowhere to really turn around. Um, I'm hoping that I can just keep cru cruising along. I'm hoping that crack wasn't something important. But otherwise, yeah, I don't think this track's been used in a, a little bit. But uh, yeah, that's how you see the good stuff. And how excellent and immersive is it? Woo. So I'm not proper bush bashing. I've got this trail that I'm going down. So I don't want to damage bush and I don't want to damage my car or anything like that. It's uh, opening up a bit now. But get a load. Absolutely wicked. What is it? 23, deg 23 degrees, the car reckons. It is a stellar day. It's a cool breeze. The sun's out. Dappled sun now. Oh, and it's absolutely excellent. So I've not seen anything uh, in terms of wildlife other than a little grebe in the water. Uh, I wasn't there when I went swimming. We almost went swimming. But otherwise, uh, yeah, not been too much out and about. I was hoping for a, a bit more, see some bird life cruising around, stuff like that, or see, yeah, snake or any reptiles, but maybe it's a bit cool. Not red bellies, they can and will come out in cooler conditions, but I'm probably coming along in this car like a herd of elephants, and they're probably getting well off the road, especially me going so slow, they've got time to get out of the way. All right, so the way the map looks is that the way I'm coming down now, I'd sort of gone from the quarry out to a main road, and I've hooked and I'm coming back in the top uh, through one of the, the paths that I did see, one of the tracks I did see coming out from that little quarry section. So making my way down now, if I get down there, I think there's a couple other tracks to sort out and look out in this little section. And then this is just one of a few sections of the Lockyer National Park and tracks to go down. So there's so many tracks going everywhere. I'll just stop here uh, before I make the descent because I need to pay a bit more attention. There's a bit, bit of a rocky area going on um, and I don't want to do it one-handed. So yeah, that's the idea. Come down here, check out this little section, and there's plenty of others with just tracks crisscrossing. If you look on Google Maps, the Lockyer National Park, there's tracks just crisscrossing everywhere. Uh, so yeah, it's a good day. You have a wicked day, and then you have to come back, I reckon, uh, a few times to get in all the nooks and crannies of everything and, and really experience all of it. So yeah, bloody brilliant. I'm, I'm having a great time. It is sweet. Bumpy. I've explored a tiny little section of Lockyer National Park 
and then there's another section just over, massive section, like way bigger than what I've seen, and I haven't even made it there yet. So I'm gonna go have a quick squeeze at that, driving along some dirt roads now, just sort of connecting roads. There's, uh, yeah, bits of little property and, and farmland, uh, but it is mostly just, yeah, national park and, and just absolute beauty. Alrighty, get a load of the weed infestation through this section. Crazy. I don't know what type of plant this is. It's got pretty little flowers to it. We'll try and get a bit closer to these ones, are you? Nice little flowers. Whoop, that's too close. But uh, it is everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. Crazy. Otherwise, this is, yeah, a different section. Well, I don't know what's going to happen here because Google Maps told me that I could get out this way. Uh, and it's said it's called Waller's Road. You go on to uh, the actual main street, it says Logan's Road, uh, no through road. So Google and the actual real world, two different things. So don't know. I don't know if it's no through road, like Logan's is no through road because it's just like for general traffic because there was a little property up there. Um, and I can actually get through because I'm going through the national park on four wheel drive track. So it's probably no through road for just the general public. But we'll have to wait and see, I suppose. Might have to turn back and come all the way back out. But already it's a, uh, whoa, it's bumpy here, but it's a bit easier and well maintained. It's just a dirt track really. You could get a conventional car in here quite easily. You wouldn't need high clearance or anything like that. Sorry, got some feathers in your face. But yeah, it's not all the rocky stuff that was in the other section. And oh, it is just insane. Look all the way up through there. Whatever this weed is, it's just taken over. Absolutely crazy. Whereas the other section was proper uh, yeah, just bushland and, and pristine, yeah, native bush, really. Whereas the ma majority of the vegetation here is all that invasive stuff, all on the ground and, and shrub level. drive really it is super cruisy it's super easy it's awesome still it's not as intense and that's what I really needed I had what, a couple of roos east and greys what do you got with your east and grey macropus gigantus eastern yeah yeah macropus giganteus or something like that so they the settlers when they first described them reckoned that they were yeah they were gigantic so their Latin name the, uh, the species name is Gigantus, you just got for this one. Uh, and then they found red kangaroos, which are bigger than that, so they're like, oh, bugger. So they called the red kangaroos Macropus Rufus, or something like that. Rufus, yeah. I'm pretty sure. And then your Western Greys, which you got on KI, and well, KIs are a subspecies, it's all just Macropus phlegmius, or something like phlegmius, something like that. Can't really get that one. Either way. Kangaroos. <laughs> I was saying, this is a Sunday drive. This is awesome. I had a pretty intense morning in terms of like, for me, it was like going down the rock hills and all that kind of stuff. I needed to make sure that I was a bit more switched on and, and it was, yeah, using a lot of brain power uh, to, to, yeah, just do it properly and make sure that I'm not gonna hurt myself or the car or anything like that. So it was a lot of focus going on. The afternoon now can just sort of be half cruisy. It's all just dirt roads, as you've seen. I just did a little montage. It's nice smooth dirt roads, but you're still getting the absolute beauty of the National Park as you cruise through. 
which is unreal. So I feel so lucky to be able to go through and, and do this. The fact that Queensland government has just, yeah, just opened up this national park and, and let you go through. You can't go through all parts. There are little tracks that are blocked off and it says vehicle restri access restricted. But otherwise, what I get to see uh, is absolutely unreal for free. It's, it's wicked. So yeah, for the more sort of how you going, ups and downs and that kind of stuff, hit up the first part, um, which I'll, yeah, I'll show you if you are all interested you're around the area but otherwise if you're more of a yeah cruising or you can do this in the Arvo as well this is a lot smoother and a lot easier to deal with uh, and really cool as well so a bit of a bugger I'm a bit disappointed when I was setting up the montages of the uh, yeah the different filming of the car going around a sandy walked in front of the, the car and, and up onto the bank uh, but in true sandy fashion and that sand goanna Gould's monitor uh, it just absolutely rocketed off uh, before I could get any footage so a bit disappointed with that but uh, there you go, that's how it is. So you just have to imagine I saw one with the picture that's up. And as I do slowly roll towards here, it looks like it's going to get a bit more intense as you can see. So both hands on the wheel, we'll get a bit more serious for this one and uh, yeah, enjoy the ride. Job, and then I've basically come off the dirt to the farm, land, agricultural region, and then now onto the bitumen. So, leaving the Lockyer National Park behind. Fantastic day. I got here at 9:30, leaving at 3:06 to be exact. So it was an awesome day. I really, really enjoyed it. Really, really immersive uh, experience. Just driving down one-lane roads, basically. Really felt like I was out in the bush. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. Loved it. Uh, really really did so thanks for being here if you've watched this far as always I appreciate anyone who yeah gets into the videos watches them family friends checking in and, and seeing what I'm up to which is always nice again get out and do what you love if you love this kind of stuff if you're around Brisbane check it out Ooh. okay it was already dead I thought it was a goanna on the road but it was a uh, a wallaby that's already been hit just a small little guy in a weird position but otherwise, get out there and do what you love, whatever that is. Um, I cannot recommend the Lockyer National Park enough. It was, it was a um, huge, amazing thing, but it was really good for a day trip. I would recommend and I would go back. So, uh, especially for novice sort of driving and, and uh, yeah, just getting out there and, and having a little fun uh, without getting too intense, really. 500 meters, so, 500 meters, turn right. Have a good one, do what you love, get out there or don't. Uh, it's up to you guys, but make sure that you do something that you really love to, uh, to yeah, appreciate life and, and get out there uh, before it's all over. So, thanks for being here as always. I'll stop rambling. Take the next ride onto a dare road. I'll take the next ride onto a dare road, and I'll see you next time. See ya.